Uh oh. I slated to appear is in the building. Look, there he is. He's tweeting. He's telling everybody here. Hello. <laughs> Robin <laughs> Hello. in the building. The white man with soul is in the building. Yes. The second. The, oh, white there's man two with of us soul. here today. I got building. competition. White chocolate. Oh, no. please, 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 no white on white crime. Right. It's no going to be white on white, on white crime today. <laughs> Somebody white's got to die. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I call you white chocolate. Somebody oh, white has got to die today. <laughs> He's already on one. One of our favorite guests is in the studio. Yes, now. sir. And you kept your word, Robin. I did. You said, let's try to make it happen, and here you are. We appreciate man, that. Man, I appreciate you guys, man. You guys have been so supportive my whole career, and we've always had fun together, me and you. So let's just let's get it popping. Where's the mistletoe, sexist? He's talking sexist. to you, L. Mm-hmm. Oh, me. Uh, where's oh. that mistletoe at? Anybody got some mistletoe around here? Because L, you, if y'all didn't know, L is fine. <laughs> and I mean that spelled with an F-O-W-X-Y-Z-N. Nice. <laughs> I like that. Just making up words. I appreciate that, Robin. <laughs> Wait and break. Wait you and you break got a little song going on? What did you say? Put, put, on, put on something else. You want to put on the new one? No, put on, yeah. Like, you know, we're going to play Robin's new music. He's tweeting. Okay. He's live I'm tweeting because I want everybody to know I'm on the air right now, V103. Yeah. So what do you want to play right now, Robin? What do you want to hear? Oh, I want to play this joint. This is from the new album. The new album just came out two days ago. It's called Love After War. And I wrote this song. It's called The New Generation because I feel like it's, it's, the, it's every generation, new generation's responsibility to try to make the world a better place. In the spirit of Marvin Gaye and John Lennon and Bob Marley, this goes out to all the people, all the young people out there that, that are about, about to make a difference in the world. This is the era of Barack Obama. What's the next era, y'all? Let's find out. The new generation, Robin Thicke, Love After War. Let's go. Check it out. I look sexy. My hair is extra tall right now. The tall white man is here singing songs and everything. <laughs> Doing a little bit of everything. <laughs> How are you, Elle? How have you been? I've been really good, you, I'm Robin. telling you, you get more beautiful every time oh, I see you. I'm telling you, you it's so not a much. game. It's not a game. It's not a game. Thank it's not you. a game. I appreciate that, Robin. Thank you kindly. Yes. You're making me blush. Ooh, I'm good at that. I can make <laughs> sassy blush. <laughs> <laughs> So you excited about the album being out, man? Yo, man, I'm telling you, like, after everything I've been through, and my, my lady and I had a shout out to the beautiful Paula Patton. We had a baby. We got the little one at home now. And after you go through that whole experience, you realize, like you told me, your whole life changes. I lost my manhood for a minute. My <laughs> mojo was gone. I was just holding the baby in a diaper bag. Where, where you going, baby? You going to work? What, <laughs> what you talking about? You going to work? And so now, uh, you know, I just now that I got the album and the music feels so good and it's from my heart. And I had so much to talk about, you know, and the album is real, you know. So right. I'm just I'm just excited because people are getting to hear it and all the responses I'm getting about, about how much people can connect, are connecting with what the words are about, what the feelings are about. I'm on cloud nine right now, man. So when you go back into the studio after success and the tour, and I mean, yes. you were just shutting things down, any anxiety about trying to duplicate it? Because we always talk about how your first project, it was just your music that you yeah. played for your friends. You know what? I think what happened uh, on this album was I was I was actually kind of depressed, you know, because I didn't I didn't sex therapy didn't really blow up the way I wanted to. And and, uh, you know, some things just didn't seem it seemed like maybe I was just never going to be that big old, you know, super du- super duper star that I wanted to be. You right. know. And, and maybe that's just the way I'm, I make music is that I like to rip myself all the way down and start from the beginning like I've never made it before and nobody cares. You right. know what I mean? Because okay. that's how you can make your best. If you're just feeling everything you do, how can you raise up the bar? You know what I mean? So on this album, I really felt like I was just a brand new artist starting from scratch and I had to reintroduce myself to everybody. And, uh, you know, this album, I feel, is uh, it's, it's, every song is extremely personal. It's exactly what I was feeling the day I wrote it. And there's no, there's, I think I only say the word champagne once. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And there's no dropping it like it's hot. And we're, there's no strip clubs. And uh, there's no shaking it for any daddies. <laughs> now it's shake it for your father is shake what it is. It's shake it for, shake your, it for father. your father like is that. the new album. So how many songs did you have to choose from? I, I wrote uh, 70 songs. Um, wow. Because uh, the thing was the last two albums also, you know, what happens is sometimes you make a few songs and then the label hears one and they go, oh my God, that's a hit. We need the album in the next two months. And then you rush it. <laughs> right. And you don't really get to make a great body of work you know you're just trying to get a bunch get a group of songs out there this time i really had almost two years to make this album you know so i got to go through all these different emotions of being you know following my lady around while she's on the set with tom cruise and i'm just feeling like a loser you bring that up a lot robin well i'm being honest it's called honesty it's called realness (laughs) 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 and i and plus because i got my swagger back I'm, I'm feeling like I can talk about it. I feel that the, the music is good. My soul is intact. My wife still loves me. We make love for three hours now at a time. It's oh, beautiful. 
Are you Couldn't serious? do better. Well, not all the time, but the other night I, I was on one. I was <laughs> on one. <laughs> I was on. You know when your lady finally goes, okay, that's enough. Is that when you wrote that? We're into double digits now. You know what I'm saying? We can't do. I can't do it anymore, baby. Th- that's when you wrote that new song called "Take That Tom Cruise." Yeah, take yeah. it, Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> So, no, but it, it does. It feels good right now. I feel happy. So, you know, you always talk about your love for Paula, but yes, I was on, uh, we were talking the other day about uh, different sites and pictures come up. Like when people come up to you, like, has anybody ever said anything just like unbelievable? Like you like, yeah, you have a threesome? Threesome? yeah stuff like that. They but. said that to you before. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. They, nowadays people like, uh, are like my wife better than me. So it's just like, can I get with your wife? Are, we, are you down? What you doing? <laughs> I'm like, listen, girl, you're going to have to get her real drunk. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't 1995. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to get her wasted. All right, we're going to have more Robert take. Let's play something. What you want to hear? What, what you want to play now, Robert? Uh, you know what? I want to play the title track because this is uh, the, the name of the album is called Love After War. And um, really what, what, it, what the album is about on the whole, the reason I call the album Love After War is because you know, there's the war we all fight with ourselves to believe in ourselves and get over our fears and our faith. And then there's the war that you have in a relationship and somebody's got to start the healing process. And then there's all the wars that are going on in the world, which that last song, New Generation, was about, where it's like we all got to start working together for a better world and a better place, you know, because people are dying for no reason right now. Even in Virginia Tech, what's going on over there right now? I mean, it's just somebody is not getting loved at home that they got to show up and start shooting people unnecessarily. So I'm just trying to promote love in the spirit of Marvin Gaye and John Lennon and Bob Marley and all them cats. All right, let's hear it right now, man. You want to talk? Robin Thick is in the studio. Classic, classic Robin Thick. That song right there. Yes. All this whole new album is classic Robin Thick. You know, I mean, I, the last album was Sex Therapy. You know, it was cool, and I had, you know, because I wanted to make an album with some of the, my favorite hip hop artists and work right. with some other hip hop artists. But it, I didn't have anything to say. I mean, if it's called <laughs> Sex Therapy, <laughs> obviously you ain't talking about nothing. You know what I mean? It's like, but like for me, you know, what I think what separates me from my peers. As much as I love, I love Chris Brown records, I love Drake records, I love all those records, but for me, I've been with the same woman for 16 years. And ain't not, no other cats, you know, in, in, in my area that have been with a woman that long. So I gotta talk about that and how, what it is to love a woman and stay with a woman and work it out every day and, get, and make your, your life better, you know, after all of those years and still make the relationship pop off. And so, fellas out there, I promise you, this is a closer, this album. If you can't get none by song number 910, it's your breath <laughs> or it's your toenails or, or your outfit or something. Get a haircut because it ain't my fault by song <laughs> number 10. People Station V103, Ryan Cameron Show. We got Robin Thicke in the building. You know what? What you just said leads me right into my next question, which is you sang at... Kim and Chris's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wow. Why like, is a better question. Yeah. No, I mean, I did it because I have long-term friends with the family, and I do love Kimmy. She's a sweetheart. Chloe, they're all, Courtney, they're all very, very sweet girls. Bruce, Bruce Jenner is, is friends with my pops from like 25 years mm-hmm. ago. So it was, it was great to be there. And, but really, I wanted the TV time. I had an album coming out. <laughs> And I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. They were like, because I, I would never do nothing like that. But they, but they had the album coming out. They were like, this will be really big exposure. You should really do this. <laughs> it's going to help drive album sales. <laughs> and I was like, okay, cool. I'll do it. And then, of course, I do it. And I get about 12.1 half second of screen time. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. It was like, Robin Thicke and back to Kim and Cut. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, why the hell did I even show up? Yeah, that's, yeah, I want that's screen time. So they so they came to you though and were like, we really want you to sing. We yes, want you to perform. Yes. Okay. No, Kim's a fan and the whole okay. family. I mean, they they really are. The funny thing is, is that they get they catch a lot of flack because they've made so much money and become so successful. But they are really a tight knit family. They love each other. They are honest. They are real people. It's the same people that you see on TV is the same way that they are all the time. Mm-hmm. And I do love the family. I really do. Well, you couldn't have imagined that your performance at the wedding would last longer than the wedding. Yeah, itself, well, yeah. The I, no, I didn't. I mean, I thought yeah. maybe more than one. One and a half second. Right. Robin Thicke goes, right. and I was like, oh, come on, give me some screen time right. now. I need some Twitter fans.